What's up everybody, Gundam Flexing here. In this video, we're going to go over the recently announced Bandai's $120 million project, Gundam Metaverse. I'll go over what it is, the potential of the project, and my opinions from what we know so far. The word Metaverse is the hottest buzzword in the global tech markets and has been thrown around a lot in the news with many big name companies like former Facebook, Apple, Microsoft, Nvidia, and Roblox all announcing the development of some sort of metaverse project. Although these companies will use different platforms, the concept of their metaverse is still the same. Using a network of virtual worlds focused on social connection to enable user interactions in an immersive digital environment. Although this idea sounds like a Sims Online type of social interaction, the monetization potential of these digital worlds is massive and estimated to reach 400 billion USD by 2025. In these worlds, companies are able to monetize from users from anything like play to earn games, selling 3D accessories, host events with paid tickets, buy and sell goods and services, buy, trade, sell NFTs, or even sell digital real estate. So with the potential of making billions of dollars in sales in the metaverse, it's easy to see why Bandai would invest in their own metaverse project. Here is a brief summary from Bandai at their third Gundam conference held on 29 March 2022. Quote, This metaverse will steadily grow to build a solid foundation as the project moves forward into the future. First step for the metaverse is to create virtual communities for each category and to enable connections to the categories through the use of Bandai Namco ID. So basically, it seems that users will have a single ID account under the Bandai Gundam franchise for gaming, music, anime, and gunpla. Users can interact with each other under all four of these communities in the virtual world Bandai will create called Side G. So instead of a virtual world, Bandai will essentially use the concept of their space colonies for the user's environment. Under the Gunpla community, Bandai's plans are to allow users to purchase Gunpla and Gunpla accessories from their Gundam-based colony store with tests to be held this autumn. There are also plans to merge the digital and physical worlds by allowing users to scan their Gunpla and battle other Gunpla builders, host Gunpla contests, and Gunpla lessons online. Under the gaming community, Bandai wants to launch their own esports project with their upcoming game, Gundam Evolution, taking the lead. Gundam Evolution is planned to be released later this year in 2022. Although I completely missed the beta testing, the game does look great. I'm personally excited to see an awesome Gundam first person shooter for PC. In addition, Bandai will also use their game Battle Operations 2 to further bring Gundam players together. Bandai has plans to quote urge companies other than Bandai Namco Group to join the Gundam market and allow general users to conduct C2C businesses using the Gundam branch in the form of user-generated content. Bandai concludes this announcement with, quote, In order to grow to an even larger scale after 2026, Bandai Namco Group will promote the development of each colony with the Gundam metaverse as a pillar of the group, end quote. So, in essence, Bandai seems committed to the long term of developing this idea for years to come. It's unclear how specific mechanics of the Gundam metaverse would work or how users can fully interact with each other. However, there is speculation that Bandai is also taking interest in blockchain technologies and has launched the Bandai Namco Entertainment 0 to 1 fund to invest in startup companies related to services that utilize technologies such as blockchains. And I do have a few questions about how this would all work. For example, why purchase Gunpla on their metaverse? What are the advantage of doing so? And how will this affect third party sellers? Bandai also has a lot of popular intellectual property like Ace Combat, Tekken, and Digimon. Will we see a metaverse for those franchises? Why doesn't Bandai just create a metaverse to unify all of them instead of just creating one for Gundam? Will we see a cryptocurrency for this metaverse? Even though Bandai's metaverse trailer shows someone purchasing Gunpla with Yen, I hope to God we don't see a Bandai cryptocurrency. Seriously, I feel it wouldn't be a quote investment, but more like coins you could only use at one arcade. At the moment, I am hesitant of this whole project, 
but I am sure most of my questions would be answered in the years to come. I strongly dislike the idea of seeing any type of blockchain or cryptocurrency for this metaverse, but I am excited for Gundam Evolution and I'll definitely get the game when it comes out, just to merc some noobs. But that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. Let's hope this project is successful and brings our community even closer. Peace out.